Welcome everyone to a brand new Minecraft tutorial. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, learning about how you can get really good furniture trades. Now as you saw in my survival world, these trades included full diamond armor for like four emeralds. So one, diamond, one emerald each for a piece of diamond armor, which as you can imagine is really really easy. And you can achieve that with no cheats at all whatsoever, just by good trading and understanding the mechanics. So what you want to be doing is essentially you want to be leveling up the reputation that you have with these villages so there are quite a few simple ways of doing this the first one is just simply trading so just trading especially in the last slot will help you out it will increase your reputation so I'm all I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be getting emeralds let me just get some emeralds uh, a stack of emeralds and with these villages I'm just going to be trading the last slot like this and as you can see what I'm doing is I am leveling up their I'm living up their, um, you know, trade, and also I'm I'm leveling I'm leveling myself up obviously with the experience, but I'm getting better reputation whilst I'm doing that. Now for that I need uh, chicken. Okay, obviously right now I can just throw away loads of things, so let me just do that quickly. But it's quite simple because the mechanics, the initial mechanics for getting good trades is just you know trading with villagers, trading with other villagers. So they, when they discuss, they gossip amongst themselves. Uh, they will talk about how great you are as a player and how you love to trade with them, and that means they'll give you discounts. Now, these mechanics, I believe, don't actually work in Bedrock Edition, unfortunately. So if you're in Bedrock Edition, perhaps if you start playing the real version of Minecraft, you will uh, uh, get these as well. So sorry, yeah. Okay. So as you can see, I'm just simply, um, you know, getting my villagers leveled up by just getting uh, or trading with them. It's quite simple. Again, now can I can I get more, please? Okay, they have. Uh, he's got a pretty bad reputation with me. So quite simply, just trading with him means that I can, uh, you know, soon enough, hopefully trade, um, sorry not trade, but get uh, better trade deals. Now in survival this can cost a few resources but there is a fast way, um, a fast way of doing this which I will show you right now. So let me just get iron as well. Oh, okay. Actually there's no need to do that. But you can see already that um, I have, uh, you know, got a discount on a few things. So now you have a diamond hoe for one emerald, which is decent, you know, that is decent. Obviously that's now off, but it's also cheaper. Um, uh, my uh, other trades are also cheaper, so you can see it cost me less iron to get an emerald. Now, let me get a sword quickly. These are very annoying. Oh, off you go. Now, same thing applies to the other versions as well. So again, if I put in some iron, there we go. However, this isn't actually the best thing to do, or like, you know, the thing that really levels you up the most, or levels uh, up your reputation the most with a particular villager. Now we're going to need, for that, a zombie villager. Let's call him Bob, here we go. And a zombie villager, obviously, you can't trade with him if he's a zombie villager. So what you need is Splash Potion of Weakness. Okay, and it's just... Oh, can't spell. Who's... Oh, dear. Now, the problem with this, obviously, is that you want to kind of hide away your zombie villager from the other villagers just because they will um, spawn in an iron golem, which is funny because they spawn in an iron golem here, but not on my farm. And uh, they will kill him. So, what you want to be doing is obviously oh, blocking this off. So, basically, the villagers don't see the zombie villager. I should have thought of that earlier before constructing this, but either way, let me get my egg. I named him Bob as well. So, I thought Bob is a really you know, typical name for a zombie villager. You know, uh, let me just put this here. Okay, so what you want to be doing actually with the zombie villager is you want to be um, turning him back 
into a villager. Now, as you saw in my survival series, I basically kidnapped a villager and had him like encounter a zombie. Obviously, I didn't go well for the villager, but now he was turned into a zombie villager. This will only work, well, it will work in all um, difficulty modes, apart from obviously peaceful. But unless it's hard, there's not there's a chance, or you know. Well, there's a chance that this villager won't be turned into a zombie villager if it's killed by a zombie. But anyway, now let's start the process of uh, turning that zombie villager into a villager. And let's just continue training. So, as you can see, the, he's restocked in his chicken. And all these villagers here, are, well, not all of them, unfortunately, but quite a few of them are starting to uh, give me... Uh, deals, you know, so you can see here five emeralds for an enchanted diamond shovel. That's not bad, but obviously, we can do better. Now, as you can see, I'm just trading with him in the last slot just so um, I can level him up quickly and level up my reputation as well. Okay, what? Oh, that's actually a decent uh, axe. Now it's night time. Time. Okay, here we go. So they can wake up. Dried kelp block. Kelp. Now this is obviously in your survival world. It will take um, a fair while to do. Uh, but it is definitely worth it as we'll hopefully see at the end. So if I do this. Are you serious? Okay, let me let me get to the zombie villager, and then um, I'll get back to you. Okay, so I have um, another zombie villager cooking up here, hopefully getting killed soon. Now, there are obviously a few things whilst you can do to upgrade your reputation, such as um, trading with villagers. That's the main one, really, and turning a villager, well, a zombie villager to a villager. Um, there are things that you can do that also decrease your reputation. So there are things such as hitting villagers and uh, killing villagers, obviously. But the main one really is also killing iron golems. So perhaps the best thing to do for this video wasn't to just go around killing all the iron golems that the villagers spawns, but hey ho. Um, obviously, in your survival world, you wouldn't actually want to kill iron golems, mainly because they cause a lot of damage, but also because you know they're useful. Like, why wouldn't you have them? Especially when, uh, you know, you see in this environment, there's loads of, uh, let me just let it clear. There's loads of zombies around. Um, as you saw also on my uh, survival gameplay, there's also, uh, you know, having iron golems around when there's a, a raid. It's incredibly, incredibly useful. It makes it far easier. So, I mean... You don't really want to be killing iron golems, obviously. Now, what we're doing now is we're waiting for the zombie villager to finish turning back into a villager. So, this is essentially perhaps the best way to get these really good tra uh, trades. Because what that means is you get incredibly, incredibly cutback deals. So, you can see here, for example, 14 emeralds for a diamond sword. That's decent. You know, it's not obviously the best, but that's decent. So, if you have an excess of iron lying around, so for example from a successful iron farm then you can uh, you know, trade that in it is a lot of um, iron though, it's nearly a stack of iron but you can trade that in for a sharpness one diamond sword and that is essentially means that you don't need to, whenever your diamond sword runs out you don't need to be um, looking around for diamonds all the time and also you're not really afraid to use your diamond stuff like for example, I know in survival, I only I have like I used to only have my uh, diamond armor for like big events such as you know I don't know fighting a difficult boss, etc. But now I don't really worry too much just because uh, just because uh, essentially if I want to get some more diamond stuff, it's one emerald, just one emerald, and obviously I have some good trades as well with other villagers. So I can easily get that uh, one emerald for, I don't know, a diamond sword or my diamond chestplate broke. Let me just uh, quickly get that. 
so what I'm going to be doing now is I'm just going to wait until um, the zombie villager has changed back into villager. This sometimes does take a while, but I will see you then. Okay, literally as I stopped, the zombie turned back into a villager. So let's see. Now I'm just going to open this up so um, he can talk to the other villagers just so um because essentially what they do is they have a gossip system so they gossip amongst the other villagers about um you know who's good and who's not good so as you can see i have some decent trades here but um actually no i'll do that usually if i was in survival i'd get the uh uh coal tree just because with coal you know, there's loads of it around especially with my fortune pickaxe just get loads of coal and uh, trade that with a villager so you can trade coal with the villager who is a uh, um, an armor guy, a weapons guy, or a tools guy? Okay, good, thank you. And you can see already, you know, one iron for one emerald, which is decent, you know. Again, especially if you have huge amounts of uh, iron just lying around, like from an iron farm. Like I know I have lots of iron from my iron farm in my survival world. Well, that means you can just easily get your diamonds. Okay. And again, you know, chainmail armor, not exactly the best, but, you know, I can still get some, you know, quite cheap chainmail armor, I don't know why, I mean, potentially, I want to look cool, I mean, this is kind of hard to get chainmail armor, you can't craft it, obviously. Okay, so now, let's see if he gives me any good trades. Okay, so you can immediately see here, you know, 27 emeralds to 1 emerald for diamond leggings and you know diamond boots that's huge that is amazing and in all reality it doesn't actually take that much effort to do in your survival world i mean at the point where you are trying to get diamond armor like full diamond armor you'll be at the back point where you can do this so obviously you've been to the nether so you can get your potions of weakness i mean you don't, you don't even need that much of potions of weakness you just need uh, it's the one where you it's um that uh, spider eye thing like glistening spider eye, I forgot, but it's the one where you need a sugar mushroom or brown mushroom and a spider eye, which are things you can easily get. Obviously, you need for brewing sand, um, a blaze rod, and you need the blaze powder. Well, it's quite simple. Hey, can I, can I please, can you please have a lock, please? Thank you. Okay. Okay. And of course, this is enchanted. Now, it's not enchanted with the best things usually but it can be enchanted with um, some good enchantments it's kind of random which enchantments you get um, but you know some enchantments are better than none look at thorns one chest plate and I don't know why this is two emeralds it's kind of cheating me here like why isn't it one but either way two emeralds for a chest plate a diamond chest plate with thorns one that is very good and uh, obviously the other villagers won't have as good trades just because they weren't turned into a zombie villager and back again but that is essentially a really easy way of getting really good stuff in your survival world all right so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed make sure to subscribe and like etc and if you want any more tutorials then uh, of course do ask i already made my iron farm tutorial which for some reason doesn't actually work here but I actually don't know why, because it works in my survival world and this is basically like an iron copy. Ah, maybe if there was a zombie. Okay. Either way, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And, I mean, hope you learned something as well. This is essentially a really easy mechanic to use in your survival world. Just get a village or villager and turn them into a zombie villager and back again. And then that's it, you know. So thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, good to see you soon and goodbye.